Lawmakers want to ban people from sleeping in public. It's part of a new bill sponsored by Jonathan Martin of Fort Myers that he says will address a mental health crisis in the state and help the chronically homeless. The proposal would allow governments to designate certain public property for sleeping or camping if it meets certain standards. Other than that, with no permit, it would be off limits. People all over Southwest Florida are stuck making impossible choices. Do I pay my rent or buy food for my family? Do I get necessary prescription medicine or eat this week? Impossible choices we're hoping to help wipe away with the help of the Harry Chapin Food Bank. When we met Claire in line at this food distribution in Lee County, she was quiet but friendly. It wasn't until we started talking. I'm gonna be 67 at the end of this month and I never thought I would be in this position. That we started to hear the worries she's facing. You're just not able to make ends meet, correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's true, yeah. And how many people are you getting food for today? Uh, three. My husband, myself, and my son who lives with us. She's one of more than a quarter of a million people locally who rely on the Harry Chapin Food Bank every month to feed their families. One in eight adults that don't know where their next meal is coming from one in six children that have to go to bed hungry. Those are big numbers. Forcing our neighbors to make impossible choices. According to a survey by Feeding America, 80% are choosing between food and paying a utility bill, 72% between food and paying the rent, and 75% had to choose between food and their health care. Sometimes where both parents are working multiple jobs, having to make the difficult choices, of what meals they have to cut out, who has to go without food. Harry Chapin Food Bank is here in our 40th year to help alleviate or eliminate those impossible choices. Do you like some mac and cheese today? Thank you. Oh, good. That's going to go with my chicken. Right, there you go. Enjoy. But they couldn't do it without your generous support. Good morning. Mac and cheese? Donations that provide the nutritious food they hand out at distributions like this one. It's great. I mean, I, you know, you can pick whatever you'd like. How about some great jelly? Most certainly. Perfect. Hey, okay, thank you. You're very welcome. Claire is grateful and wishes she had the ability to give. Tell me why. Why? Because they've helped me. And it's not just me. There are people that are worse off than me. But, you know, you still feel it. And it's sad. So Claire is on Social Security. She's on a fixed income. So you can imagine the stress that she faces when she goes to the grocery store and sees how high the prices are. That's why she's at that distribution as often as she can be when she's having trouble paying her bills. But this is how we can help her and others like her. This is WinkFeedsFamilies.com, and this is our meal meter. We want to fill it up to a million meals by the end of February. We're at 52,198. If you'd like to go here to WinkFeedsFamilies.com and make a difference, just click the Make a Difference button, and it'll take you to the donation page. Also, if you want to see some of the recent donations that have just come in, Tom and Joanne, thank you for the $50 you gave us just 12 minutes ago. An anonymous donor, $100. This is such an important cause. We hope all of you will join in and help to make a donation at winkfeedsfamilies.com.